Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. We have two new Migron knives. We're going to see what we like about them, see if we have any nitpicks, check out the action, ergos, fit, finish. We'll do a couple quick size comparisons, see which one I like better, and then we'll see which one you like better. And all that's going to start right meow. This is the Migron Polona. Would you look at it? I mean, just observe it. Eyeball it. Use your eyeballs. Would you look at that? Look at that texture. Oh, ho, ho. it is so nice. It feels so good in the hand. It's very grippy. I've been waiting for some good texture. We've been getting some slickery knives lately. This is not one that's going to slip in your hand. But before I get stuck on that, check this out. We have T8 body screws. You have a lanyard hole. It does not have a reversible clip. However, the clip that you do get is a titanium alloy, which looks very, very nice. It's nice in and out of the pocket. There's no mushrooms growing in the shade, no screws or anything to grab a hold of your pocket when you're putting it in and out. And then look at this blade stock, 143 thousandths of an inch. And I really like the look of these thumb studs. Would you look at them? check them out like they kind of look like miniature barrels and this is a thick boy it is not messing around you'll see when i compare it to a couple knives here in just a minute and then back here you have a nice look at g10 backspacer it's it is all black could you imagine if it was all blacked out that would be another great version here's your migaron logo and now let's check out the blade are you ready Pow! Right in the kisser. <laughs> Look at that tall, flat grind. I love the looks of this blade. 14C28 in blade steel. It's stonewashed. And then look up here at the Ricasso, how you have those uh, vertical lines. I guess you would call that satin, vertical satin drawn lines. They look very, very nice. And then just going all the way down, that beautiful texture, your T8s, super clean looking. And I have to say, I'm impressed. They're putting out some 14C 28 in blades for less than 50 bucks. That's, I'll put links in the description for both of these, uh, Veronas. <laughs> <laughs> both, both, my, 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 Polona, both of these Migron knives, if you want to go check them out further for yourself, but your lockup is good, you're just about in the center, about 40, I don't know, between 40 and 50, and then is the blade centered? Yes, the blade is centered, and look at that, it is chunky, I mean, this is not going to mess around. Now, this isn't a huge knife, lengthwise, it's 7.5 inches, the blade's 3.25 inches, it's 5 ounces, 141 grams, and even though it's 140 43 thousandths of an inch for your blade stock. It's 16 thousandths of an inch behind the edge. So it does a good job of tapering up from that thickness down to the thinness that you like to get a little bit of that slicey action. Your fit, left and right, it's solid, up and down. I mean, it feels like a fixed blade. It is that solid. Just checking the grind here real quick. Ooh, ooh, oh my. Okay, this thing is a laser. It is a laser. Would you hear it? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm just telling you right now, this thing is super sharp out of the box. Now, I have a couple knives here. You'll want to see next to this knife so you really get a good idea if you're deciding whether to get this one or not. Here is the QSP Penguin. And look at this. The Penguin, look at it this way. Now, look at it this way. Yeah. So, you all know the Penguin and how thick or not the Penguin is. Let me, let me show you. Look at that. Even counting the clip, it's as thick as the penguin plus the clip. On the other side of the penguin, I'm going to put the Civivi Elementum. Just a couple of everyday carry knives. You know, these are good EDC knives. Now look at this. We're getting in the chunky. The, that's the thing that rings to me with this one is it's chunky and it, and it really fills your hand very well. There's the Kaiser Gemini. Now here's two that I know that came to mind when I saw this blade shape. Here is... The Wii Banter, and here is the Wii Big Banter. These are the blade shapes and kind of what I was thinking of. So it's in between the two. But, but again, I'll mention, it is definitely thicker. If you look at the thickness here, yeah, it is it is chunky. And this is the knife that came to mind, handle-wise, is the Orion Solaris. So if you have the Solaris, or if you ever handled one, this will give you an idea. And this is definitely what I wanted to show you. Thickness-wise, they are very, very similar. If you look right here, yeah, they're they're just about just about the same in the thick hand. Now, for your deployment, you can you can reverse flick it, no problem. And I will tell you right off the bat, you know, just that not having it out of the box that long, it doesn't have the strongest detent. I can flick it open. It does have pretty good action. It kind of feels like it could be cleaned maybe. It maybe could do, use a good disassembly. Yeah, I'm sorry, not today. But yeah, it, it is easy to reverse flick. You can kind of slow roll it. You can't really, there's nowhere to grab. Now, if you grab it down here, you can slow roll it like that. 
So it is slow rollable, definitely. It is easy to flip out with the thumb. It snaps out with the Thor tie. Now here's a look at your detent. And for all of you that are new, my hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. Your ergos are phenomenal. I mean, they are absolutely fantastic. There's not a, even, not a hot spot, not a warm spot. Giving it the B squeeze, it is very comfortable. So that is one nice thing about it. Being a little bit thicker is, oh, wow, it feels so substantial in your hand. It, I mean, you're not going to lose your grip. And I guess if you're going to be using this to do a little pokey stabby, you're not going to lose your grip that way either. Both ways are very comfortable. You, This is going to be such a good everyday carry. This is going to be a worker knife. This is definitely a knife you can put through the paces, and it has 14C28N, which is an excellent blade steel. If I was going to give it some nitpicks, well, first of all, you have room for sharpening. Your plunge grind kind of just disappears around around that, ter that territory, which isn't too bad. And the only other thing was I could go for a little bit stronger detent. But it's, I mean, that's that's all I'm that's all I'm finding. And of course, you know I love my jimping. This does not have jimping, but the way it is shaped, you this is contoured right here, your finger just fits in there so nicely. And with it not having a flipper, if you want to choke up, you can choke up. Watch out for the heel right there. But you can choke up, really get up in there to do some scraping or do some cutting. This is this is a fantastic knife. And the thing that impresses me even more than that is it's 48 bucks for 14C28N, ceramic bearings, excellent G10, excellent texture, Excellent ergos. This is a good one. This is the Migaron Takog. At least that's I think how I think you say it. T-A-K-O-G. And it does have a really good texture to it. It almost it almost feels identical, but I have to say this one has more texture than this one. So I don't know if they were made in a different mold or, or what. But look at that. There's a little bit of texture vision for you. And this one also has T8. So that's something else about the other one. These are knives under 50 bucks with 14C28 in. They have T8s, they have ceramic bearings, 14, uh, okay, all right, let me back up. Let's go back. All right, this one also has a lanyard hole. This one has a regular deepish carry pocket clip. There's a little bit showing out of your pocket, but not very much. It is a nice, strong pocket clip. It is sturdy, and look at this. It's sitting on top of the G10, and you do have a couple mushrooms growing in the shade. One nice accent that I'd noticed a very nice looking, uh, what do you call that? A, a pivot collar, a little small pivot collar. Looks really nice next to the black pivot. And this is a top or a front flipper. But here's the thing. This is what, this is one of those ones where if you don't like front flippers, wait until I tell you about it. Just hold on. Hold your horses. Well, this is a perfect opportunity. You want to see this blade? Oh, yeah. Did you see how easy that was? It is so grabby. I'll tell you about that more here in just a second. Check out this awesome looking grind. Ooh, and it is a hollow grind. Not super hollow, but uh, you know, I'm going to double check that. Yeah, let's just double check for fun. We'll take a look here and you can see that it is hollow. Not super, but enough to call it a hollow grind. And one thing different about this, it has one thumb stud. Big old, big old screw over here in 14C28N. This is a beautiful, this is like the more classic looking blade. It's a smaller knife. It's not going to take up as much room in the pocket. But going along with the Pelora, it has a thicker body, which does make it very comfortable. And your pass-through is very, oh my goodness, the pass-through is just butter. I mean, it is absolute butter. They have this contoured spot right here. And then your, your thumb is just, it. oh my goodness, you can't even tell that you're doing anything. The lockup is good on it. And then your centering, and look at that. That is a hefty. Both of these are going to be working type knives. Now for your thumb, it just snaps out no problem. This one is smoother than the Pelora. But then again, these are brand new knives out of the box. Ooh, yeah, nice and smooth. Now look at this. You can use your thumb to flip it over, but this one is so high up and has such good jimping. Ooh, that's some good jimping. You just put your finger on top. It doesn't take a lot of concentration. Hold the hold it with your middle finger and your thumb, and then put your put your uh, four finger <laughs> your index finger up here, and just just lean back, lean back. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that, but <laughs> it is very easy. This might be this might be a front flipper for someone that just hasn't had good luck with front flippers or you have to put your finger all the way up front and it's not comfortable. This one, 
come snapping up really easy. And then for your thumb, it's like, I mean, it's money, absolute money. So this is, th these are like 39 bucks. These coming up, you could get black or the OD green. Now this one here, it's 6.9 inches overall. The blade length's under that three inch mark. So if that's a concern for you, it's 2.9 inches. Closed, it's 4.2 inches. And your blade stock thickness on this one's 141 thousandths of an inch. And then behind the edge, 21 thousandths of an inch. And it comes in right at four ounces, right on the four ounce mark. 4.01 to be exact. The ergos on this one are very comfortable. Even for my large width hand, I have plenty of room. I'm not running out of finger room. It's comfortable. And you know, this this is this is a smaller knife, yet it's not because of how robust the handle is. So if you don't like a small knife because of how thin they are, you don't have a good grip on them, this one is, it is fantastic. And you see up here, you have this flat area because there's no rear flipper in the way. You can get up here nice and close to do your cut and maybe cut a piece of rope and you can lean back here. You have a little bit of this ramp to, to do a little push cutting if you want to. This is a comfortable, comfortable smaller knife. I really do like this. So there's the Migaron Tacog and here's the Migaron Pelora. And just, you know, I might as well put out, here's the QSP Penguin, just to give you an idea. It's so close to the size of the Penguin. Look at that. The blades, the blades are meeting like, hey, how's it going? Kind of looks like a Pac-Man mouth. Okay, stop it. <laughs> Getting off track. But you can see there, that's exactly the size of the Penguin lengthwise and pretty much blade width, except for totally different size, uh, different shapes and different grinds. I hope you enjoyed checking out these knives with me. I know I enjoy it. I think I have picked a favorite. I'm curious what yours is. I want to hear in the comments. I love how you always, you all comment and tell me what you're thinking. If you don't have an opinion about either one of these knives, that's fine. Tell me what you had for breakfast or lunch or what's for dinner. But until I see you again, go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. If you don't like that one, go watch that one. <laughs> But until I see you in the comments or the other live streams or at the Hive stream here on Bees Blades every Friday night starting at 8.15 going to 11.15 p.m. Eastern, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.